Okay, let's start with the Unpacking Buffer Plus module. The first one is Limit Switch. There's another big pack. Take it out and take a look at it all. Then the main board. Then a pack of XH2.5 for connector with a pack of screws. Then 28 step motor and buffer slider. That's all the parts. Open our Mellow website. Then we view document. Then click on the module expansion board. Download and extract this folder. You can also find the schematic here in case you need to modify the custom pins. There are a total of 8 items after printed. Passive gear fixing block, material fixing block, bearing block, buffer main shell, buffer active block, and the cover plate, and buttons. You need to print to buttons. Let's introduce the parts where the nut needs to be thermally fused. There are two different size of heat set inser, M2 and M3. Here are 10 places need to install of M3 hot melt nuts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then we will introduce the M2. First one. Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Then there are seven square meters nuts in the seventh corner. Okay, let's introduce it first. This is the tool we need. We need 1.5 and 2 millimeters wrenches. The screws to be used are M3X8 thin flat head screws. M3X8 flat head screw. Short M2, 5X5 flat head screw. There are also for M2, 5X6 flat head screws. The smallest M to X5 low head screw. Then there are two M to X8 round head screws. And use the flat head screw of M3X30 on the extruder. Let's pre-assemble. On this bearing. You first preset this screw on the bearing. Let's take M3 modified truss head screws to install this first. Let's pre-assemble some of the parts first. Then we take out gear. Then divide into two bearings. Then we put the bearings in. Also put the other side in. That completes the preset of this buffer. So let's get out our motors. The motor has a flat here. We took out our brass gears. Put it in the direction of the screw.
and tighten it up. Okay, this is what it looks like after tightening. And take out the gear kit of the extruder. Alright, so let's just cram these two little ones in. Insert this shaft. After it is installed, we take out the buffer. After alignment, we take out flat head screw for M2 X5. Then screw it on. After tightening, we will take out this buckle. Next we take out the printed part. We will directly install the main board first. The board is inserted like this find the right angle. We took out 4 small M to X5 short head screws. Okay, take out the 1.5 wrench and screw it on. After tightening, we take out the printed part. Take out this buckle. Press it in. Install the motor. Tighten the motor. This is the switch for detecting material. We have pre-inserted the Bowden coupling into the printed part. Let's put the spring. The side with the button should face to the right. 
Then install the switch. Then put into screws. Put it at the bottom. Then screw it on. See if it can be triggered. As long as it can be triggered. We take out this to pipes. These two tubes are for the material to pass through. After the slap is tightened, we take out this screw. Here is the thin flat head screw 2 of M3X8. Okay, just tighten these two screws. After we install this part, This is where the extruder gear gets installed. So this is the part where we take the stuff that we just preloaded. You can first test if it rolls smoothly, if not, please reinstall it. This is directly put in like this. And we lowered it, and we took out the longest screw. and take out this long tube. Install it here. And then we take out this preloaded print of the buffer slider. Then we take out this to screws. Then take out six of them 2.5 flat head screws. Don't screw it too tight. Let's twist it in half first. Okay, just slide smoothly. Let's put this spring into this first. Be sure to put it in. Take out two M to short head screws. Then let's put the screws on tighten it. Use these two screws to secure the spring. We install these interfaces. 
The interface of the motor is connected to this one. Then the interface of this micro switch we connect to. After receiving it, put it here like this. These to pre-installed bearings. Then remember to install the gasket. If you don't install the gasket, it may get stuck. We can try to test it. As long as you can hear the sound of the switch. Then we take out the cover. You can customize the pattern you like on it. After stuck in, we take it out this to button. Then we install it. Then we take out 5 thin flat head screws of M38. And last one. After installation, we take out a piece of filament, test if it can be triggered works. Then see if this can be pulled and also can be pumped in. It means the installation was successful. Okay, try the button. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.